All right, so it is that time yet again, and this time around we have a brand new banner and character. This time, it is none other than Waifu herself, Reiji. So I definitely got to go in. <laughs> Gonna definitely do some pulls here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. And that being said, after we're done with our summons, we'll take a look at Reiju and just kind of break her down and, like, explain what the character can do. Because I haven't looked at that yet personally, but I'm going for it regardless because it's Reiju and she just looks awesome and I'm excited for that. In fact, I, I really hope that, like, sooner than later we get the other Germa Double Six characters. Um, I don't really care for the dad. I forget his name. Chief? I don't forget his name. Anyways, forget it. I don't really care about him. But I would like to get Sigma Suit Sanji, too. That'd be epic. I guess we probably need to wait a little bit for that one, though. Anyways, if you guys did any pulls, let me know what your results were down below in the comments. So these banners are pretty much the best banners for someone on the game. Like, it, it's really not even close. The discounts, the guaranteed summons, two copies guaranteed uh, of Reiju as well. You can also obviously get more in your step-ups. These are pretty much just the best ones. It just comes down to, like, which characters you want. They started doing these step-ups, I believe, with the Land of Wano Scouts 1 and 2. So that being said... Do keep in mind that next week, Jinbei's Bounty Fest will go away in, in on the 27th, so literally just about a week. Um, so well, it'll be replaced by another Bounty Fest. Between now and then, there will also probably be um, some, maybe some other, like, step-up banners. I don't think a step-up banner, but, like, you know, like a retread banner of older characters, like the, the this one, but, you know, the step-up variation, or even this, I guess. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first summon, Discounted at 30. Now, the big ticket here is to try to get a Reiju copy on step one or two. That would be really good because that guarantees level 80 minimum. And also, like, at any point, if we get a second copy of Reiju, other than, well, I guess it would technically be the third, but other than the guarantee, that's really what we're going to be looking for. And, you know, I, I, I want to get Reiju to 80, of course, because that's about where most characters are like that. They're most competitive. You don't need to get them to 100. But uh, 80 is good enough, right? Uh, in fact, if, if you want to see a little bit of an 80 in versus level 100s, like how competitive they are, the Sanji that Reiju, Reiju actually is just kind of... Did I say Reiji? Anyways, the Sanji that she's replacing, Whole Cake Island Sanji, I did a video with him at level 80, um, and he's, he's pretty good. So, speaking of Sanji, this is green? Yeah, okay, I don't need that. Anyways, pretty good. Speaking of Sanji, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, like so like that, I want to get her there, obviously. Um, and, and if I don't, I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna go for it like that. I'm not because I, these characters are like on every banner too. So there's no point in really, really chasing them like outside of their step ups. But the step ups are good value though, especially for the number of like good characters that are on the banners. The only downside is there are no bounty festival characters, but that's not a huge deal considering they're not bounty festival characters are great, but they're not the only good characters in the game. A lot of these non festivals are really good characters. So again. I'm not super certain of what Reiju does. Just skip to the end if you'd like to know now. But um, we'll be taking a look at what she does. So, all right. We got Sanji there. I always get asked, like, how do you get the cola? You can only get it when your characters are all six-star. So, yes, that does mean that every character in this summon and every character for the rest of the video that I get cola for is already six-star. Meaning I have summoned them so many times that I cannot hold any more copies of them. That is the only way to get cola. And uh, you can use cola in the exchange shop. Obviously, you guys can see what's in there. So anyways, next summon here. This one is guaranteed four-star. Not guaranteed Reiju. Guaranteed four-star. But I do hope that the four-star is Reiju for the record. We got a runner flag there. Um, I, I just want to see as, ma as many runner flags as possible because she is a runner, if I recall anyway. So in three seconds, you'll be able to see the flag. And three, two, one. Runner flag popped up there. I always get asked, like, how can you tell? That's another way. Like, it pops up right before Luffy plants the flag. All right, so a defender here. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, Zeph, shout out to head chef owner Zeph. Oh, that rhymed. That didn't even in I didn't even intend for it to rhyme. A Luffy, a Luffy, Usopp. Whoops. <laughs> All right, Chopper, a whole lot of runner, um, Straw Hat Pirates, two stars at that. All right, we get it, Johnny. Stop. Thank you. Oh my God, Alvita. <laughs> I think I'm getting really close. I think I think the next one might be it. Runner flag. Oh, attack. Don't be it. Don't be it. Don't be it. Don't be it. Ah. What is this? Robin? Freaking two years later units. Shouldn't have summoned on those banners in hindsight because I pull them every every single step. Up. Oh, 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 oh. I, okay. I thought that was the last one. Oh, okay. And I saw a runner flag. Oh, my God. Hello? Runner flag again? This has got to be the last one. No, don't be the last one. Oh, oh wow. That's going to max him. <laughs> That's going to max him. That's 
really funny. And he's not even—he's like—he's like a month maybe. He came out for Halloween, so about about a month. He came out right before Halloween, about a month old. And I'm getting him to level 100 here. What happened was I got him to level 80, and then on the Perona banner I summoned him, and I summoned him on another step up again. And all the while he's been in special training. He was actually like 20 fragments away. So this is honestly a waste of like 50 cola because it doesn't recycle it. He was only like 20 fragments away actually being max level. That he's level 99. Like he's and he's I haven't used him since level 91. He's been in special training. He's been also you can get him from league battle, so you get him in those chests from league battle. And also I, I did use some fragments for him because I wanted to get it. I got him like a level or two from fragments too. So long story short, um, it just kind of happened. Like <laughs> I guess um, I'm gonna have to get really lucky and get a double four star in one of these at upcoming next two summons. But, oh, yeah, what I was going to say is in hindsight, I shouldn't have summoned for those two years later units. Because if you were playing back then, what they did was they put out... Who was the first two years later? Was it Luffy? It might have been Luffy. Either way, Nami, Luffy, Brooks, Sanji, uh, Chopper, Usopp, the whole crew, right? Zoro, the whole crew. Um, they all got a two years later featured banner where they were the main unit on there. I don't even remember if they were step-ups or not. It might have been three step step ups. I don't remember, I don't recall. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they're like so easy to get now because they're. Oh, that's another thing with Nightmare Luffy. I've been exchanging his frags daily, you know, because you can get you can exchange for ten daily. And like a, like a month ago, he was when he first got added. I think it was twenty a day. Like I've been doing like everything to try to max him out. It just kind of happened, bro. And that's why I really like this game because you don't have to spend so so much. You have to spend to get the character, I guess, if you want to. Uh, assuming you don't get lucky with your free stones or whatever. But there's a lot of alternatives and avenues to get these characters at least up in levels. It might take you a month or so, but you can do it. You can do it. Um, so that's why I really like this game. Anyways, yeah, that's another thing that happened with him. And the two years later units, they all the same things I apply. I, I mentioned about Luffy earlier, Nightmare Luffy. Like, you know, being in treasure chests and, and league battle, all that stuff. Two years later units, that's all that happened with that, man. I kept getting them, like, all the time. I, I am not even uh oh okay uh, here's Raju. <laughs> uh okay cool she was the last one unfortunately I gotta get super lucky here otherwise I'm gonna end up with level 70 Raju. I think that happened with Perona too normally I have great luck on these step ups and get the unit to 80 but it happened to Perona and I barely got my Perona to like 85 since then she's 85 yeah yeah. I pulled her one one time on the last, I think on Sanji's banner, actually. But she's been in special training, exchanging, yada, yada. Same deal. Um, but yeah, forgot what else I was saying. Guaranteed Raju here, by the way, but I'd really like to get double. That would be incredible if we ended on, oh, really? Attacker? Is this Luffy? The old Luffy? Yeah, it is. The 50 million or whatever bounty. All right, 30 million. Okay. All right, well, there's that. <laughs> Can I get triple four stars in this multi? I, I don't I don't really think so. I don't think so. I I don't think so. Yeah, but like I was saying, like the game has a lot of avenues for stuff like that. Especially if like it also compounds pretty nicely if you whale too. Like obviously you don't have to whale, even if you spend lightly. That in conjunction with how easy it is to get like the fragments for the specific characters and also like those all encompassing gold fragments for four star characters. Like, all of that in conjunction makes it really cool. Oh, this isn't the last one. Wait, did I get double? Hold on. Did I get double raise you? This isn't the 10th one, is it? That went so fast. Oh, it was. No. Uh, I was, like, zoned out because I was talking. No. Uh, I'm not doing any more pulls on that banner, though. It's not step up anymore. It's now regular. Uh, just to end it on a good note, we'll try our single luck. Maybe on a bad note. We'll try our single luck. I never do singles. We'll I actually, it's been a while since I've been a single. Uh, it, it's not going to be anything I want anyway. Because I saw I had an attacker flag. And even if it was a four star, it wasn't going to be something I wanted. Um, unless somebody did a single, I might have got a, a unit from it. It's not very common, though. Anyways, uh, let's go over to Survival 100. And uh, over here, we'll take a look at Reiju. And um, also do uh, a preliminary look at her uh, her move set and stuff like that so runners in new world at least this is really good new world is really good she doesn't have anything else though all right so we go ahead and take a look at the arts so skill number one pink horn 
All right, so a long range attack with a chance to poison acquires effect that debuffs attack at level five. Ooh, that could be pretty good. Well, how is she looking at level five? Skill attack is 401 and it's five steps. Uh, long activation probability, 100%. Effect time is 19 seconds. Damage 1.15% per one second and attack reduced by 10% for 20 seconds. That's a, that's a freaking mouthful. Long story short, she's doing a ton of poison damage for 19 seconds and also reduces the enemy's attack by 10% for 20 seconds. Um, and also the cooldown is only 35, so that's pretty quick. Skill 1 cooldown is going to be pretty nice with her. Creates a mid-range area barrier. Interesting. With a chance for allies within to become invincible. Oh, like uh, like Wano Law's room. Except this is the inverse. It makes the enemies weaker. Wait, they become invincible? Wait, what? Plus it deals damage to enemies within it with a chance to inflict poison. What? Hold on. Step one, invincible activation probability, 100%. Step two, skill attack. It even does damage, 182. And it does a uh, 14 second, 1.15% per second poison effect. Wait, invincible? Do they really just take no damage in, in that barrier? And this is why I wanted to get her to 80, by the way. Nullifies poison as her character trait. Um, when your character is more than 80%, when your strength, excuse me, which is HP, is more than 80%, boost capture speed by 50. That's pretty good. Uh, when crit occurs, inflicts poison. Oh, she's going to be super annoying. Her and Crocodile are going to be super annoying with that poison, man. It's not like Crocodile wasn't already annoying, though. When your team has more uh, treasure secured, boosts the cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 50%. That's actually a really good trait because it shouldn't be that hard with her being a runner and stuff to have, uh, you know, more treasure. Well, uh, when dealing damage to an enemy inflicted with poison, recover 3% HP. Oh, stop it with that trait. Get out of here with that one. She, she does a 100% activation chance with poison. Activation probably. Yeah, she always is going to do poison. What the heck? Man, I, need, I might need to go back in for one more copy of Raise You. <laughs> I might have to, bro. Oh, no. Oh, she levitates. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, she does. She freaking flies. That's awesome. All right, one tap. Oh, it's a double hit. Her first attack is a double hit. There's double. Wow, that's that's a lot for for just a couple of clicks. Oh, and her, also her uh, her boots do the little like energy thing at the bottom. I forget what it's called, the thruster. That's her full combo. Oh, it ends with a charge hit. Wow. Okay. Here's a full combo again. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And she's got decent range because she also propels forward on, on all those hits. Like that, that second uh, ending of the combo midway through, she also like shoots herself forward. It's pretty good. All right. Higuma. See, there it is. And then a double forward. Okay. Skill one. Interesting. Okay, let me actually, uh, I'm going to obviously wait for that one to come back, and we'll, oh, oh, it retargeted. Yeah, some some characters don't retarget like that, and it, it's really annoying, but that one did, and that's really good. All right. Do I take damage? Wait, what? How long even is it? Does it not apply to myself? Because I was pretty sure I was taking damage there. I guess I'll have to test that one in an actual gameplay environment. Not so much like in a in a testing here, but like in an actual like league or challenge battle or something. You know what what she could be good for if that works the way I'm thinking, the way it literally says by the way, which is invincible. She could be really good for Brawl 8. And depending on how long it works. Alright, so her skill one's just about back. Okay. I wanna test the range on this, so I don't wanna take I wanna take these guys out before. Uh, I go for that. We got to take out Yasup. And I want to actually do it back here so I can have a good starting place for how much range we have uh, for the enemy. Okay, come over here, please. No, you're just going to stay out of range? There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. It, it's like it's got the range of, uh, of, um, what's it called? Um,. Perona's skill, but obviously it's way faster. That one went all the way off of the map just now. Skill one went all the way off the map. 
That's actually really good, and it was super fast. That's going to be really annoying in a crowded environment to, like, avoid. You might not even really see it until it's, like, too late. It also was kind of, like, small. It's actually very reminiscent, in fact, of Corona's ability. Oh, he's poisoned. I can, oh, I don't have the, the trait to heal. I wonder if that heals per hit. If it heals per hit, that's nuts. Nuts. Oh, my God. And that healing trait is pretty much mandatory because uh, it plays into her first trait, where when you have more HP, boost your capture speed. Which plays into her other trait for having more treasure secured. That's just kind of the way this character works. Not every like character is mandatory to have that um, level 80 trait. But for her, it, it just feels like she needs it. Maybe my um, barrier thing got canceled last time. That might have been what happened. Let me try to, let me try to get it again. Freaking buggy. Okay, let me cast it again. Oh, it is up. Oh, but it's super short. That's what it is. But you know what? I'm going to cancel this after this. I'm pretty sure that how short it is is dependent on, like, the skill level, obviously. Um, so, actually, uh, I wanted to... Let's see if she can just die here. There's a green guy, so it shouldn't take too much. Yeah, she's going to die pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to see uh, the levels and, like, look at that skill one more time. Yeah, I can I can really understand Raju. She's She seems really good. Really, really good. Uh, okay, so level 18. Okay. So let me take a look at that skill one more time. Pink Shelter. Um, creates a mid-range bear with a chance for allies. Oh, and also it's a chance? No, 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 but it says 100% for step one. To become invincible, plus it deals damage to enemies with a chance to inflict poison, which is also, again, a 100% activation. Effect time is 14 seconds. It doesn't... Okay, so the barrier is going to be short regardless, which it makes sense because if it works the way I'm thinking, that's that's busted as hell, man. That's broken. Um, so yeah, she's actually really interesting. So I hope to see her in League Battle a bit and, and test her out there and see how she works. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.